Hey Gold Rush fans, well the halfway point is surpassed so let's do a breakdown of what we've seen so far in season 13 of Gold Rush part 2. Welcome back everybody to Gold Rush Minute. If you're new to the channel or a subscriber, I'm Gold Rush Minute where I break down the most recent episode of Gold Rush and all the spin-offs. We talk about the miners and go over past episodes of the series. First up is the Klondike legend Tony Beats. So the Beats crew, they're mining White Channel gold this season. So they have to dig the deepest they've ever gone in their operations history. They do have two cuts open right now, the blue cut and the cold cut. They face some battles this season with this cuts, either being flooded, frozen, or the embankments failing on their ponds. This season though, Tony's decided to take a back seat to his operation and let his sons Kevin and Mike run the show. So this truly hasn't been seen yet. Tony, in my opinion, he gets a little anxious and wants to manage the crews. With his years of experience, you know, this has to be unbearable for him to watch disasters happen and not to try to remedy the situation because he does know how to fix it. Throughout the season though, Tony and his crew you know they've been chewing through the ground pretty good, but the gold has been playing hide and seek with the Klondike Kingpin. They've been having some, you know, kind of below average gold ways, but it's kind of looked like they found the sweet spot now and they're pulling in almost 300 ounces each week. Tony's goal is 5,000 ounces of gold, which is just over $9 million at today's gold prices. So far at Tony, they've mined 1,624 ounces of gold. If the Klondike legend is able to pull this off, this will be his best season to date on Gold Rush. Alright, so before we get to the next miner, I just want to thank everybody that has subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't yet, it only takes a moment, it's free to do, and I greatly appreciate it. Last up is the Clayton Brothers. So Brandon and Brady, they're mining with a purpose, and so far this season, it's been disappointing. Like Fred, their goal is 500 ounces, and they're nowhere near that mark. Golden Acres is where they want to be. Brandon knows the gold is there, but in my opinion, he's gun shy about getting there. They do lack the capital to get there, but in any business, you have to spend money to make money. Mining hot spots along the way and paying their way to Golden Acres is Brady's plan, but with fuel costs being high, paying employees, repairs, his money left over, it can't be much. Like I said, you know, they're mining with a purpose, and that is why I personally cheer for them. Fred and Brandon, they're trying to make a better life for their family and their crew. Yes, it is an operation, just like Tony and Parker, but these two men have a purpose in mining. So far this season, the brothers have mined 37.68 ounces of gold. Nowhere near what they need to be to hit their lofty goal of 500 ounces. They are ahead of Team Misfits right now, but only by half an ounce of gold. There you have it, Gold Rush fans. If you like the content and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. It's free to do, and I greatly appreciate it. Till the next time.